We are all dying to see the performance and we are here for the theatre, not for any lecture. So I'll be very, very brief. I promise you I won't bore you more than 10 minutes exactly. And time is a very important factor in theatre and I have learned it by watching theatre and enjoying theatre living with theatre, sharing the lives of theatre people for 60 odd years. I'll be 84 in June. And I've been watching theatre from back 1949. Great memories. And theatre leaves you with these memories. Memories that churn within you. Because there are memories of emotion, charges of emotion, pain, anguish, exhilaration, excitement. You treasure these memories because they are not so easy to touch or experience in life itself. Life passes you by, life kills you, life destroys you. But theatre gives you that space to relish it, feel it, receive it. The watchers are receivers of theatre, not just thrown into it like that. You come with expectations, with desire, desire to experience, and the desire keeps you charged and active all the while you're watching the play. And that has been my experience for all these 60 years of watching theatre. And as I watch theatre, I try to come closer to the human beings who brought their entire existence, their lives into their performances. They're not acting. I never found them acting, imitating. The word my messes of copying, imitating, that doesn't bring me to theatre. Theatre is so alive, throbbing all the time. So I've tried my best to know these people, come closer to them, and see how this magic happens. A magic between the life of the person who comes on the stage and presents herself or himself to you, presents to you almost nakedly, bringing everything of herself or himself into what you are watching. He's sharing it with you, that experience. And also, the way she plays with language, Every word, the words come alive, the shades, tones, nuances of the words. She brings them alive. The words come to mean what they don't just mean when you watch them in cold print. They come alive. They bring in histories, they bring in lives. Whenever I see a Telugu play, the history of Telangana, battles, struggles, they all come back to me. And also the lives of the performers, the histories of the Surabhi theatre. Every part of India I visit and search for theatre, beyond the theatre, around the theatre, at the heart of the theatre, I find that place, the geographical place, becoming a cultural identity, becoming its language, and they all come alive in the experience of theatre. That is what I've experienced throughout my life. And that's what keeps me so attached to theatre. Theatre is individual, egotistic, of course. Theatre is linguistic. Theatre is cultural, theatre is 
historical. Every single experience of theatre brings in this load, lets it flow into you and among you. So there's no point in talking, talking, talking about theatre. Let's feel it. Thank you.